Hey guys, Spears here, and welcome back to the episode of GTA Online today, where, whoa, I'm going to be checking out the top 10 vehicles that you can buy in GTA Online. Starting out with number one right here, this generator that looks like it's about to blow. Just kidding, you can't drive that, obviously. <laughs> Hit that like button for driving. Uh, starting our list off strong here with the Patriot Mill Spec. Uh, now, not only is this thing great off-road, but look at it. And it's got a few hidden features, which are amazing. You know, it's not stupid slow either for a vehicle that's, like, massive, but uh, I'm starting to get into heists a little bit now and stuff. I mean, I've done one, so this thing would be a great getaway vehicle. The features that it has on top of being good off-road, I don't know. They're a little good. They're a little good. That's what I just said. Yeah, that was English, by the way. So this right here, armor plating, and then Imini, Imini, I mean, you can never say that. They have the missile lock jammer and the remote control unit. So the missile lock jammer doesn't let people blow, blow you up. Boom, boom. Not gonna happen. You also get some mounted MGs on the front of it that we're gonna try out here in a second. They're useless. I mean, there's there's parts, like, look at that. You, you, there's parts you can off-road in the city, right? Like, say you gotta get over a jump or something. Psh, nope, not an issue. Ah! Oh, God. All right, uh, wood pallets are an issue. Look at these guys. Where are you going, huh? You get you got the ability to stop cars like like no problem, right? I mean, look at these. Look at these MGs. You, you may as well just be throwing apples at them. You know what I mean? What, 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 am, I, what am I aiming at right now? Did I just get them? Never mind. That was... Oh, yeah, and it's got slick mines. Those things right there. Look at that. Like I said, only issue is it's kind of slow. But that's why it's number 10. I think it's pretty neat. Next one up here is the Buffalo STX or the uh, Dodge Charger Hellcat. Here it is. It actually looks really good. I don't know if it's just the lighting, but again, also has a few hidden features that make it super useful and overpowered. Well, not overpowered, but like you really need something like this nowadays. Am I about to find out why? Oh, I am. I think so. Now today, Junior, this thing's powered by family. Oh, <gasps> oh, that was close. Missile lock jammer. Boom. That would have came real handy right there, th th like a second ago. When you put the armor plating on these things too, they, they become really, really strong. I think they could take a couple rockets, but nothing crazy. Like, we can we can try with one here. We'll see. Ow! See that? That's good enough for me. I'm not, I'm not gonna try any more on that, because that's <laughs> probably gonna blow up. Look at that! Starts up no problem. She runs perfectly. I don't know what the design on this thing is, but it also has mounted machine guns in the front. Um, they're actually a little bit better than on the, the Humvee, but this is the getaway vehicle that you want, honestly. I mean, you get- fill the car up with your homies, you know what I mean? You're doing a heist or something, I've done one of them, so. Like, look, check this out, see? Well, you know what? Actually, maybe the Humvee's machine guns are a little bit better. <gasps> what the- Wow. Very strong. Very strong. I don't know what is going on right now, dude! Oh my! On top of all that, it does wheelies. So what, I mean, what more do you want? This, these, it's not working. I'm just gonna let them deal with their issues they have right there. That's, that's all. Coming in at number seven here is the Akula. I'm 100% sure this is the best helicopter that you can get in the game. There's the big girl. Look at that thing, huh? Looks like a mosquito, kind of, but like less annoying, maybe? You definitely want to upgrade these, uh, 50 cal mini turrets up in the front there, and then you got some... Phew, yeah, you want those as well. Hey, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how much it costs, just do, do it all. And just in case you didn't know, this has a stealth mode. So when you're piloting this thing, you can go invisible. Literally, you just press, press H. There you go. Nobody can see you on the minimap. You can sneak up on people like nothing, man. They can literally see you with their eyeballs. Like, they could look and be like, oh, that's a weird helicopter, what is that? You know, it would help if I was a better pilot, but... But look at that guy right below us there. You see him? Now we can- yeah, we're not faster than he is, but we can sneak up on him. This guy's just bullying everybody, bro. Look at this dude. Oh god. Oh boy. The turning is not the best. Is that two subs on top of each other over there? Oh, this is a- this is a job for a helicopter, I think. Are they, like, racing? What is going on down there? Oh, they're literally just on top of each other. That is very weird, but, you know, we just come out of, uh, come out of invisible mode, and we can maybe deal with them if we want. Whoa! Oh! All right, the- the sub got some payback. Wow! I couldn't even- I genuinely thought that was a bird or something. Where is the sub at? What? I mean, as you can see, it's not super strong. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! There's no way I just dodged that. Oh, here he is. Really? You're on a beach, bro. What are you doing? I'm, uh... Yeah, this thing's about to die. Ah! Oh. Yeah. So, it's actually a great helicopter. Like, it's- it's really good. Ha ha ha! Oh, that's like I called it an airstrike. That dude literally just blew them up. 
Wow, he is- he's feeding it to them. So next up here is the Tordor. Uh, not only does it have a cool name, but, uh, look at it, right? And it's got missiles, and it can go underwater, and has boost. I mean, it's got everything you need, really. It's like the Stromberg, but, like, cooler, you know? And who doesn't want to pull up to a Karmi like this? You literally just pull up, transform, and then just sit there, because you can't move, really. I actually really like this thing. The only thing I don't like is it's kind of like you're driving, uh, I don't know, like a motorcycle. You're really exposed, and it, this thing, it blows up really easily. But the missiles on this thing lock on super aggressively. I'll, I'll show you what that means here in a second. I just learned about this, actually. Oh yeah, and when you use the boost on this thing, it's like legit one of the fastest cars in the game. On PC, anyways. Watch how aggressively this rocket comes out. Check the- Whoop! Instantly! Wow, I got- oh. Like, look! Look at that! It's so- the, I, Compared to the Oppressor, the Oppressors are pretty bad. Like, you can take an Oppressor out with this thing, no problem. I mean, you hit a jump, you boost up, right? Or, I mean, you go in the water just to get away from them. I'm so sorry to those people. But now, you know, say the whole server wants to kill you, just drive off the pier and turn into a submarine. And you're good to go. You could boost underwater too, which is weird. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this is one of the fastest vehicles underwater as well. I mean, it must be, right? With that boost, you just literally keep up. The cops are like, where'd he go? Where is he? Also, good thing, let's say you're a bad driver and you, you know, you're driving along and you end up going in the water somehow. I mean, you could literally just drive this thing in the water and it doesn't break. You, you, even not in submarine mode. You just turn it in and you're like, oh yeah, wait, I can drive underwater, this is great. Not saying I've done that before, but I've done that before. Speaking of C and something I've never used before, but have been told that it's just a better version of the Sparrow, is a Sea Sparrow. Didn't know this existed. Yeah, I mean, it's 1.8 million dollars, like, that's not cheap, so, I mean, it better be a lot better than the Sparrow. Look at this goofy little thing. It looks cooler than the regular Sparrow. What? You can modify it? Armor and handling? Let's go. This is a Christmas sparrow right here. So I'm gonna test these things out first of all. Obviously they must work, but I wonder how fast you can hit the water going before they're like, ah, you know what? We're not gonna work. All right, not very fast. Wow. Instantly regret that decision. Oh my, why am I here? All right, take number two on that one. Uh, maybe just like a little bit slower. That's not too... There you go. That's a little bit better, huh? Yeah, I mean, then you can just... Uh, no, 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 all right, you know, it's not the best, but it does handle a lot better than the regular Sparrow, and it has homing missiles, which are great. It feels way faster than the regular Sparrow, too, which is kind of weird. And you can pull up the car meets and be accepted by all your friends. Look at this, huh? Everybody loves us. Everybody's so, like, unassuming. They're like, oh, it's just some dude in a Sparrow, he can't hurt us. Yeah, I got some missiles, I could. Somebody said land in the pool. That's a great idea, actually. Got my little floaties on. Oh yeah, this is great. Wait, look at this. Huh? I wonder if I can stand on the side of it when it's just floating. Oh no, of course I jump in the water. Wow, and instantly transform into my swimsuit. Cause why not? Who needs a helipad when you got a pool, right? So next up is the Batmobile, obviously. You can't have a garage or a top 10 list in this game without having a Batmobile. That's, that doesn't make any sense. It's the Vigilante, bro. Like, look at this thing. You need this in your garage. Jets, missiles, m everything. Speed, doors that go up, power, vengeance, or whatever. I don't, what was that? That was like Fat Albert. Hey, 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 I am vengeance. All right, so I'm probably never gonna speak again, just so you know. Anyways, boost, good. Uh, yeah, everything about this thing is amazing. There's, no, there's nothing bad about this vehicle, ever. The price sucks. It's very expensive. It's like 3.7 million dollars or something. Another cool thing about the Batmobile is if you find a wall that's like straight up, you know, you get a little ramp, you drive into it and boost, you can go flying. Oh yeah, you can also modify it, just- just in case you didn't know that. I mean, you knew that. One of the things that sucks, actually, about the Batmobile is it's not super strong. You think it would be, you know, Bruce Wayne's money dumping into this thing. It should be extra strong, right? Not really. A couple rockets, this thing is gone, but you look cool. Look at this guy. What's this guy doing? Look at that. Rocket. 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 You know what? That's really strong, actually. Wow. How is that thing that strong? That was- that was like six rockets, and he's like, Yeah, what was that, a bug? Yeah, there must have been like a bumblebee around here somewhere. He has a bounty on him, by the way. Wow. Alright. He's taking the offense. I like that. Good. Alright, buddy. Whoa. This is like something out of a movie right now, bro. I really should have got him with my first few shots. This is gonna turn out bad for me, probably, but that's fine, man. I'm just here for it. All right, I'm gonna hit this jump real quick. It's gonna be so cool. Oh, God. I'm gonna jump this. This is a terrible idea. I'm gonna jump the river right there, though, because those two guys are on the other side. Yep. 
Great idea. Great idea. Ah, perfectly executed. Terrible idea. Brings us to our next vehicle here. The uh, mobile, mobile, uh, blah, blah, blah. yep, mobile operation center. Now we don't really need the trailer at all. The only thing we're worried about is the uh, the actual truck itself. So we just get rid of the trailer. Now you might be thinking, well, that doesn't make any sense, Spears. I know it's great, right? And and why is this rank so high? Well, it literally takes like 30 rockets to blow this thing up. I'm not even kidding. I mean, legit. Like the glass isn't bulletproof, but that's the only downside of this thing. And it's stupid fast for a semi truck. It makes no sense. It's like Dominic Toretto was like family, family all over this thing. I was like, whoa, it's so fast now. Why? And it's also a semi truck, so you can legit just run into people, no problem. I mean, consider running into a car, right? That's a little bit different than getting hit with a missile. You know what I mean? Like you could you could hit as many cars as you want. It's totally up to you. I mean, I'd go as far as to say you could hit every single car in the world with this thing, and it wouldn't it would not blow up. It'd be like, oh, is that it? Oh, look, these guys are blowing each other up. And here I come. Look, hey, get me. Do do me now, buddy. Pardon me. I mean, you have the ability to bully all these cars. Oh, ow, oh, ow, no! Did you just throw a little sticky at me? Oh, jeez, that hurts so bad. Wow. Do another one. Yeah, do another one. I'm right here. Keep throwing them. Here, I'll back up. Throw more. Throw some more at me. Oh no! Ouch! Throw- yep, yep, yep. Keep- keep throwing them. Come on. There you go. I think you need to throw some more, man. I don't know. There's- there's not enough. Here, go in the pool. Go in the pool. You need to cool down a little bit. Wow, look at that! You did it again, huh? Look at that. Nothing. Just nothing. Like, what are you gonna do? Oh, there you go. You got blown up. That's kind of funny, isn't it? Look at me! Perfectly fine. <laughs> Honestly, this thing is- Kind of overpowered. I mean, it's not, obviously, but it is at the same time. That was a lot of stickies, and it did absolutely nothing to us. What did it do? A little bit of damage on the front? Doesn't matter. Perfect timing, because next up here we have the Deluxo. Uh, I feel like you can't have a complete garage without a DeLorean, right? Like, it's a flying car that goes back in time. What more do you need, man? Like, come on. Look at this. Also, has some, uh, some rockets, some machine guns. Helps you deal with little pesky, uh, Avenger guys up there. Look at these guys up here. And it's also not slow. I- I don't have missiles on this thing, by the way. I, I- that's why I'm going over here. You actually can't put missiles on at the pay and spray. That make- that- the Los Santos Customs. That makes sense, actually. I promise you that I'm getting this guy's bounty right here, right now. I promise. Yep. Yep. It's taken me a few vehicles, but I'm getting it. I'm getting it. You're not getting away from me this time. 18,000 missiles later. God, I love the Deluxo. How many- What? What? I just got kicked out of my car? That's fine. It's fine. I can still get it. I can still get it. I'm right- I'm right down here. That's fine. Woo! I got it. Successfully got it. It took me a few vehicles, but we did it. And also, let's like- let's say you get a friend that plays GTA Online. You're like, hey man, come check out GTA Online. He's like, okay, and then you pick him up in a DeLorean. You just fly down, you're like, hey buddy, welcome. Like, you're probably the coolest person ever. What is going on there? And coming in first place, I mean, it- it has to be the oppressor. That has to be the most overpowered, craziest vehicle in GTA Online. Like, literally. It doesn't matter what kind of person you are. Like, if you get an oppressor, say somebody's messing with you or something like that. Like, I do this all the time. Somebody's messing with me, I'm like, oh, they blow me up a few times. I'm like, alright, here we go, you know? Like, I'm just- this is it, right? And then I- I start flying around and I think I'm all that, I hit a building and then, you know? But, it's like, other people are really good at flying these things. I'm alright, you know, I can't ride a bike. I can ride a bike. Not very well, but, uh, yeah, no, this- the- the- the oppressor mark too is stupid. It's really stupid, but, I mean, if you can afford one, you should probably get one. They're great for heists, um, a couple other things. I'm pretty sure you can use these in heists. You can definitely. No, I don't know. I've done one heist, so I'm an expert. What would make this thing even better is if you could ride it with, like, a friend on the back. That'd be hilarious, bro. Just- just two menaces, you know? Oh, look, a car down there. I don't want that to be alive anymore. Get rid of it. Alrighty then. I was kidding, actually, about that. Wow, alright. Yeah, the- the- the missiles aren't the best. Yeah, they're pretty good. You could be a menace like that, like this. I mean, you can literally just fly around and do this all you want, right? It's hilarious. But- oh, that's an- never mind. You can't do it to that. That's- that's gonna take way too many rockets. <laughs> I mean, also, I mean, you can just fly around and do cinematic stuff like this. You're like, wow, look how cool I am flying underneath bridges, you know? Event- whoa! Eventually somebody's gonna take you out. And it just happens, right? That's why I use this thing for more of, like, uh, defensive than attack. 
Anyways, that's my top 10 list. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.